Avram Burg, formerly head of the Jewish Agency and Parliament Speaker for the Labour Party, has joined the Arab Jewish movement Hadash as he states the entire Israeli discourse shifted to extreme nationalism. I-24 News correspondent Shahal Pelad on the challenges that now lie ahead of the emerging Arab coalition. It was a groundbreaking Saturday night when, following a five-hour-long heated debate, the board members of Hadash, the joint Jewish-Arab party, voted overwhelmingly in favor of a united election ticket for all Israel's Arab parties. It's a combination, it's a reconciliation, it's a compromise between different views. But the Hadash movement, also known as the Democratic Front for Peace and Equality, had another surprise awaiting. Former Parliament Speaker Avram Borg joined its ranks, taking a leap from his decade-ago Labour Party membership. For you it's a leap, for me it's a walk. Um, I'm 10 years, almost 11 years out of the political system, in which I dedicated most of my intellectual time to think. Israeli really discourse that was a mild national discourse became an uber-nationalistic one. And this is wrong. Borg, who came to the Nazareth gathering from his Jerusalem home, told his new friends that driving on the Holy Jewish Day of Rest to attend the meeting was a life-saving violation. I wear a yarmulke, that's my personal faith, it's my personal uh, relations with the Creator. And the fact that I move into a party which represents the majority of its voters are coming from the Arab sector, it's actually a privilege for cooperation. From an outsider point of view, the unification of all Arab representative parties might seem trivial, but the ideological gaps are tremendous. For the sake of comparison, it is similar to expecting voters of the left-wing Meretz party to accept a joint movement with the right-wing Likud and the ultra-orthodox Shas. Borg, for his part, doesn't think Hadash should paint itself into a corner by the national labels of society. My suggestion is to take all the liberal progressive forces who believe in secular egalitarian politics and actually to uh, replace the current discourse. But the upcoming elections mark a significant threat for all the Arab parties after the threshold for entering the parliament was raised from 2% to 3.25% of the vote. We prefer to reconcile uh, probably on the, uh, some of the principles and to succeed in these elections. One of the Hadash party major principles is women's representation, with their official agenda including equality between the sexes in all fields. However, among their current four representatives, there are no women. We are speaking about uh, uh, making sure that an Arab woman will be represented in this uh, coming election. In fact, party member Nabila Espanyoli herself was intended to enter the parliament upcoming March as part of a pre-decided party commitment. But uh, uh, Bibi Netanyahu blew it in our face and that's why we have to go now uh, for a new election. Polls suggest as much as 11 seats for the joint list of the Arab factions, indeed setting up a new page in the Israeli political arena.